Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. Now, if you guys have owned a fish tank for pretty much any amount of time, it is very likely that at some point you have had to either deal with moving a fish tank or removing a fish tank, which can sometimes be a pretty daunting task, I'm not going to lie. So in today's video, I actually need to take down one of my fish tanks I set up not too long ago. We're going to move the fish and we're gonna take the tank out of the area it's in now. So I thought today I would take you guys along that journey and show you exactly my process for doing this because I definitely have done it a few times and I've learned some tricks along the way, but I also wanted to give you guys some tips to make it a lot less stressful on you and a lot less stressful on the fish you're going to be moving. So first things first, let's go ahead and check out the tank, we'll talk about that, and then I'll come back and tell you some supplies that you need. So this is the tank we're working with today. It's a simple eight gallon planted aquarium. This process is gonna be very easy today. However, it can be implemented on any sized aquarium you have, whether it be five gallons or 55 gallons, you're pretty much gonna follow the same steps. So coming back here, I'm gonna show you some of the key items that you pretty much have to have when doing something like this. The first thing being, some sort of gravel vacuum or a way to remove water from the aquarium. You can't move a full aquarium whether you're moving it or removing it completely. You gotta drain some of the water. And with that, obviously, will come a bucket. Now today, because I'm also gonna take out the plants and the fish because I am gonna be removing this tank entirely for the time being, might set it up down the road, but it just is no longer needed at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and do a small container right here for some of the live plants and a larger container right here for the fish. Now these fish will be moving into an already established aquarium. However, if you're simply moving the fish with the aquarium, you're gonna follow the exact same steps. Once the new aquarium is set up, go ahead and add your fish. So I'd also recommend grabbing some water conditioner and some beneficial bacteria if you are resetting up a tank or not adding your fish to an already established tank, um, as that will make the transition for them just that much easier. And then of course, anytime you're dealing with fish stuff, mm, some towels are definitely going to be needed. So before we even get started with draining the water or moving the fish, the first thing I like to do is clean the sides of the aquarium. I just use a little magnet cleaner, scrape the algae off, get the glass looking as good as you can. Now the reason I do this ahead of time rather than at the end, as I find that once algae has had time to like dry onto the glass, it's just so much more difficult to remove. I always like starting out tank moves with just cleaning the glass. It doesn't take very long and it makes it a lot easier. So now that the tank is clean for the most part, I'm just gonna go in here and start grabbing out the live plants. You don't really have to drain the water for this, but by removing a lot of the hardscape ahead of time, it's gonna make it a lot easier to catch the fish and then obviously a lot easier to drain the water. Now, if you're gonna be resetting up the tank, I would recommend removing all of that decor, plants, whatever, and keeping it in a little cup, either like this one or a five gallon bucket, depending on how much stuff you got going on. And you just wanna make sure you keep it wet because all of that stuff will have beneficial bacteria on it that's keeping your tank up and running. You don't want it to dry out while you're moving tanks. But once all the decor is removed, I'm gonna go ahead and take another little bucket this one right here, which you'll see in a hot second, and I'm gonna start removing the fish. Now, in my case, like I said, I'm gonna be taking these fish, netting them into this cup, and then moving them to an already established aquarium. However, if you're just moving the aquarium they're already in, what you can do is remove the fish and go ahead and keep them in that tub for probably up to around an hour, depending on how big your bucket is and how many fish you have. Now, if you're gonna be keeping them in there for a prolonged period of time, I'd recommend getting a battery-powered air pump you throw some batteries in this thing, it's a little air pump, and it will keep the water flowing and oxygenated so the fish don't, you know, lose oxygen while you're waiting for the tank to be set up. Now, once all the fish are removed, in my case, like I said, we're just gonna be putting these guys to acclimate into a new aquarium. Now we can start draining some of the water. Now, my biggest tip for when you're draining the water is go ahead and start gravel vacuuming. This will remove a lot of the dirt because when you're storing up an aquarium, you're gonna get dirt everywhere. The water's gonna get nasty. If you are gonna reset up this aquarium, I'd recommend keeping some of the cleaner water and doing around a 50% water change, removing around 50% of the dirty, nasty water. As you drain the water, like I mentioned, vacuum the gravel. Try to get things as clean as possible. You don't wanna bring over all that nasty waste into either the new aquarium or when you fill it up with fresh water again, it's just gonna create a muddy mess. But as the water drains out, we're gonna start removing some of the equipment. So the first thing I wanna do is grab the filter out of here. Now, because I'm not resetting up this tank, I'm gonna go ahead and do a deep clean on the filter. Now, the reason I'm cleaning the filter is because when I go ahead and use it next time, I don't want it dirty, I don't want it gross. That's just gonna be a pain for me later. Now, if you are not taking down the tank and you're just moving it to a new location, you don't really have to do this step. It might be a good idea to rinse out some of your filter sponges with aquarium water, but you do not want to deep clean your filter if you're going to be resetting up the tank because that could disturb the bacteria balance in the aquarium. So over here, I'm really just going to take this filter completely apart. I really want to get all the gunk out of here that's possible. This filter is going to be pretty gross, I know. Just look at that. Mm, not great. Um, but by cleaning it ahead of time while it's wet, while it's you know not caked on there, 
this will just set me up for uh, success in the future if I need to use this filter again. As I mentioned, skip this step if you're resetting up the tank, but if you're taking down a tank for good, deep clean that filter. You're gonna do the same thing with any other equipment, whether it be a heater or even light stuff like that. You just wanna wipe off some of the dirt, wipe off the algae, get that equipment clean and ready for use again. So now in my case, the tank is pretty much empty. There is some rock still at the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna remove the tank and go ahead and rinse that out under tap water, leave it to dry, dry off the tank, get it looking clean and ready for use. And that is pretty much it for removing an aquarium. Now, moving an aquarium is a little bit different. If you're moving an aquarium, you're obviously gonna wanna remove the tank, move the stand. If it's not on a stand, simply just move the tank. Uh, once you have the tank and stand all back in place, you're not obviously gonna remove the gravel, right? You don't need to remove that if you're just gonna reuse it. Um, but then you're just gonna repeat these steps backwards. So you'll put your filtration back in, you'll put your heater back in, you'll start filling that tank up with dechlorinated tap water or whatever water you've been using. Um, I'd recommend, like I mentioned, adding some bacteria supplement to that water. Uh, once you have your heater, your filter, your light, everything plugged in, you can start adding your hardscape back in. Sometimes it's easier to add your decor as the tank fills, other time it's easier to add it when it's completely filled, tank clear and you can see. And then, once the tank is up to temperature and it all looks good to go, you can add your fish back into the tank. I know it sounds a little confusing. If you go ahead and rewatch these steps back a few times, I promise once you familiarize yourself with the process, it's really not that bad. I'd say the main thing is just to make sure your fish are safe, so keep that water oxygenated and keep the fish at the right temperature. Don't put them in somewhere they're gonna freeze, you know, obviously. Just use common sense there and your fish will be totally, totally fine. But now the final step for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop the fish out of their little cup and into their new aquarium. They're gonna mingle with their other little fishy friends. Um, I'm gonna take the live plants that were in the other aquarium and also fit them in this tank as well. You see this tank already has a ton of live plants, um, but we can just add a few little more and they will do great in here as well. But that is pretty much it for the process of moving an aquarium. I know it's a lot of information and I know it can be stressful, but I promise it can be done the right way and everything will be fine. Obviously, there's a little bit of difference between moving a small tank and a large tank, but the steps remain largely the same. Another tip I can give you is if you're moving a large aquarium, I would just make sure you plan things out a couple days ahead of time. If you need big stock tubs to hold coral or big fish, just make sure you have that equipment kind of prepared over time. But with smaller tanks, it's really no issue at all. If you guys have any questions about moving or removing aquariums, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I will try my best to help you guys out. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good.